Hi, I'm going to look at writing the vector equation of a line in three different forms. Um, we are going to have a look at writing it in parametric form. Um, and this you will have seen in core 4. We're also going to have a look at writing it in vector product form and then we're going to um, use this to um, finally get it into direction ratio form. Um, so to start with, um, we're going to have a look at an example. Um, we're going to have a look at a line that passes through um, the point 263 um, and it's parallel to um, the vector 1, negative 1, 2. So um, we have got a, um, a point that it passes through uh, and we also know the direction the vector is going in. So um, just from core 4 we know that our general point R um, is going to be equal to A plus lambda B. A is going to be a position vector that um, our line passes through and B is going to be a direction vector so that's going to be the direction of our line so we already have that information given to us so quite simply we can put those values in and we will have R is going to be equal to um, the position vector plus lambda times the direction vector Excellent. Right. So um, we um, have have now got this in parametric form. So I'm just going to um, stick that over here because um, this is parametric form, and we are um, going to have a look at um, writing this now in uh, vector product form. So um, we'll just box this off just to show that we're done with this over here. So this is our parametric form right there. Okay, so um, we're going to have a look at the um, vector product form. So we're going to use this part uh, of, of, sorry, our parametric form equation. Um, and we're just going to slightly rearrange it. So I'm going to take this um, position vector over to this side of my equation. So I'm now going to have um, my general point R and it's going to be take away this position vector um, and that's going to be equal to lambda times by this direction vector okay so at this point I'm just going to highlight that this is a position vector um, and this is a position vector and this here is a direction vector because I'm doing a position vector take away a position vector this here is actually going to represent a direction vector and now this direction vector is equal to a multiple of this direction vector. So what that tells us is that this direction vector and this direction vector must be parallel to each other. And because they're parallel to each other, um, I know that the cross product of these two has got to be equal to zero. So I'm now going to rewrite this as... so that's this direction vector and if I do the cross product of that with here, this here that's going to be equal to and because they're parallel to each other um, it has to be equal to zero um, and now we have that in um, 
the vector product form and again I will um, draw a little quick box around this to show that we are done with this okay so so far we've got it in parametric form and we've also got it in vector product form okay so tidy up our area here a little bit and I'm going to stick that just there right so um, we are now going to have a look at our direction ratio form so I'm now going to use what we found over here in vector product form um, to help us work out the next part of, of, of what we're doing uh, I'm going to use it from here so I'm, I'm going to rewrite this part here as um, R is just our general point so I can call that X Y Z so I'm going to say um, X Y Z um, and I'm going to take away this vector here so we've got take away 2 take away 6 take away three okay so all I've done is I've rewritten this here um, and that's going to be equal to um, lambda times by one negative one and two okay so now um, in order to write this in um, direction ratio form um, we know that this and this are parallel to each other so that means the ratio between these three components is going to be equal to the ratio between these three components um, or in other words um, I can say that x take away 2 to y take away 6 to z take away 3 is going to be equal to and the ratio between these here which is 1 to negative 1 to 2 okay so um, this is why we call it direction ratio form because the ratio between these if they're parallel has got to be equal to the ratio between these um, so also um, what that's telling us is that um, I could write this well, x take away 2 divided by 1 is going to be the same as y take away 6 divided by negative 1 is going to be equal to z take away 3 divided by 2. So, um, if I just that down there, so I'll write that down. So we've got x take away 2 divided by 1 is going to be equal to y take away 6 divided by negative 1 and that's going to be equal to z take away 3 divided by 2 um, and just because I'm a little bit fussy I'm just going to rewrite this as uh, x take away 2 is going to be equal to 6 take away y and that's going to be equal to uh, z take away 3 over 2 and that there is going to be our oh, our direction ratio form and there we go okay uh, thanks for watching